Hey, Scott Austin here from Jade Puma. In this video, I'm going to show you how to grant access to certain people for content on a page. And that page could be on a product, a collection, or a page, wherever you want, um, to only certain people, right? So you can either consider it restricting access to everybody else or granting access to the ones that are letting in. And uh, let me show what that looks like in action. I'm going to go into this wholesale store that I'm working on onto the account page and I've actually got two pieces of content on this page that are showing up because of information about my customer account that I've logged in with. So I'm logged in with an account that is tagged as wholesale therefore this wholesale information shows up. I'm also logged in as someone who's tagged as admin and by admin in this situation we mean store staff right so then I see these store staff admin functions content also um, and let me show you you know it working in action here so I'm gonna go into my uh, customers folder there's only a few of us because this is a brand new store we're building out but I log into my or I look at my customer record in the Shopify admin and you see I've got two tags 30% and admin so if I just delete this admin tag and save it go back and if the server is caught up with us here refresh the page yeah that admin content is now gone right I go back into my customer record and put admin back in. Refresh the page on the front end. And my admin content shows up again. So notice I didn't change any code there, right? The code's already in place that I'll show you how to put in place. All I'm doing is adding and removing tags from different customers, and it's adding and removing the access to that content based on their tags. So let me show you how the code works because it is fairly simple. And there are apps that can do this type of stuff. Uh, I like to use liquid code when I can instead of an app just to reduce complexity. And this is one of those things that's it's a fairly easy liquid edit. So I'm going to go back into the Shopify admin and we're going to go to online store and we're going to click on the actions button and then edit code for the current live theme. And here we're looking at the account details page, right? And it's, it's template is account. So we're going to go into the templates and we're going to find customers accounts right here. And we see that everything in here is all in one section called account details. So we're going down to our section account details. Now, when I add little snippets of code like this, I like to make them their own little snippet. So instead of embedding it inside of this account details uh, liquid for the section, I actually make it its own snippet. So here you can see the two snippets. One is render account dash wholesale, and the other is somewhere in here we'll see render like account admin or something. Oh, there we go. Render admin functions. So those are two little snippets I made to contain all my code. Even though there's a few lines of only a few lines of code in them, I made them separate snippets. So it's easy to uh, see where that content is. So let's open up those snippets. We want account wholesale and we want admin functions. And you'll see they both contain very similar logic of an if statement to start them off with. Now one of them, the admin one, has just one if statement and that is if customer.tags contains admin. And we saw before, right? My customer record was tagged as admin, and this is the one that turned that admin content on and off. Now, the account wholesale one is a little more complex because there's multiple wholesale tags that could be used to show that wholesale content. So here you can see we've got if customer tags contains 10% or customer.tags contains 20% or on and on and on for all the different tags that we have. You could also do this, like let's say, the messaging here, this messaging is very generic. It doesn't say, you know, what discount level I have. But what we could do, if we wanted to show that there, we could have, you know, a, a nested set of if-then statements. Like, if customer.tags contains 10%, show this content. Else if customer.tags contains 20%, show this content. So you could have a different message per tag if you wanted to by doing if and then else if statements nested in, inside of each other. And it's also good to note that right now we're on the account details page. So 
we already on the account details page there's there's a log login is required to be on this page so i can easily just put an if customer.tags contains admin statement in there if you're going to put this on a separate page where you're not sure if they're logged in or not then you want to add a little bit of code and it looks like this if customer or and sorry not or and customer.tags so this if customer basically says are they logged in? So if you want to put this content on a page where you're not sure if they're logged in or not, the first part of your if statement is check to see if they're logged in. And then if they are logged in, make sure that their customer record has the appropriate tags. So hopefully that makes sense. And I'm just going to delete that because I don't need it on this account page. So that's how you can get content to show up on uh, pages for certain users. Hopefully that helps. And in the, uh, blog article that'll be next to this video i'm going to include a little snippet of code that you can just copy and paste the, the code that i was showing you so you can easily add it to your store thanks for watching